All right, so I'm back once again with this humongous stack of, clo of clothes that I've made. Oh wait, wait, I'm forgetting something. Well, all right. All right, complete stack of everything that I've made these past three months, I think. It was like from the end of August until now, September to December, but yeah. Huge stack. Hold up. Let me like, let me get like get a good thumbnail with, without me moving first. All right. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. So I'm going to first start off with this little thing right here. It's called the picnic hook case by Nastja. And it's just this really cute case for all your um, crochet hooks. I've never gotten a case for any of my hooks, so when she posted this pattern test, I like immediately applied to it because look how cute it is. It's like this checker and it has like a little pocket for you to put like your stitch markers or little other novelties in there. And then there are like this, these little individual pockets for your hooks as well as this larger one for like your tape measure or something like that anything and then it's just really cute because you can just like fold it up and then you wrap this strawberry thing around it so it secures the hook case and it's um a pretty good travel size i would say so if you're visiting someplace for fun or visiting family or whatever like something like that then it's um very convenient to carry around with you and it's also just super super cute so adorable and then next i just wanted to show you all um all the what are they called again? Bolero sweater sleeves? I call them sweater sleeves because it's basically sleeves like without the body. But anyways, I made a few of them the, um, these past few months. Um, I made three in total. I made these two for myself and then this one for my little sister. And I'll just show you all them one by one. So this one, this one was the, the last one that I made. It looks like this and it doesn't really look like that much like on camera because like nobody's wearing it so you're kind of just like oh my gosh like what does what the heck does this look like on but i'll show you all anyway so you'll see but yeah it just is um a regular set of plain green sleeves and if you look really closely it's this tweed and it's so pretty because it has flecks of like cream and brown and like dark blue and light blue and it's just like super pretty like i'm obsessed with tweed i'm like a super big tweed lover and this yarn was just so pretty and i had two skeins of it so it was almost enough which is why i decided to put some um stars on it with this extra brown wool that i got a while ago from um this shop on etsy that like um farms wool ethically but anyways super cute um i made the chart on stitch fiddle and then i just um knitted it like in the rounds but i just knitted it straight on because i was running out of green and i was like oh my gosh like what am i gonna do so i just got some brown and i also made the bow on the front brown as well it looks super cute y'all have already probably seen this if you follow me on instagram i love it so much i love sleeves so much like if you are somebody who lives in like a warmer um place so i live um in the south so it's quite warm even like it's literally like almost the beginning of december and i'm like kind of hot wearing this cardigan but it's like that's how warm it is it's probably like 70 75 degrees outside or something like that super warm so like if you're like that and you still like wearing sweaters because like i think sweaters are the cutest thing ever like they just make your outfit look so cute and like I don't know like i like very soft and round silhouettes so like like a cardigan like this then like this sort of sleeves will work perfect for you if you um want to wear something like this but it's like just way too hot i have my another set of sleeves so these were actually the first ones that i ever made this one and it's just a plain white one if you look real close since i double held um merino wool and mohair it has like this fuzz on the top this like halo of like fuzz just like on top of the knitted fabric and it's just so cozy and like so uh like i just like love it's just like a cloud like you're wearing a cloud and it's just so comfy and i made this one more oversized so it like covers my hand because i really like the idea of like um 
sweater mittens or like what are they called again like when your hands are like covered with like the sweater sleeve anyways sweater paws yes i like the look of sweater paws so i made this one oversized because i had a lot of this yarn um yeah i don't really know what else to say about it i just i just super like it it's just so cute like when you pair it with like outfits and it's so perfect like i said if you live in a place that's more warm the last pair of sleeves that i made were for my little sister and it doesn't have the bow in the front because she preferred it without and i'm using the same yarn um it's the hobby friends um reno wool and then the hobby friends kid silk and as you can see there's like a halo so i used um an orangey red for the base and then the mohair is like this really pretty purple color um and i also put some texture in it so i just dropped some stitches on purpose the bottom is just um just cinched in like a drawstring so if you actually undo this bottom part where the bow is it'll be like a normal sleeve just tying it and then I decided that I still wanted to put a bow on it and she didn't mind, so I asked her. And um, yeah, I just really enjoyed making these as well. Super cute, super oversized because she wanted them um, oversized to fit with the um, dropped stitches. Oh, my my baby just came in. Wanna say hi, baby? She doesn't wanna say hi, okay, I'll put her back. All right, and that was it for the sleeves. And next, I'll show you all um, the sweaters and the cardigans that I've made. So this one, this one is almost out. So it's out in like about two weeks, um, the beginning of December. And this one is called the Uki sweater. It's inspired by Uki Violetta from Niji Sanji Ian. Um, I don't know, because like, I feel like he would look so cute wearing like something that's more oversized. Like I said, like a round silhouette with like huge balloon sleeves and then like with the ties because like I don't know if you'll watch him as well but in his debut stream he said that he likes like straps and stuff so I like made ties on the front with bows on the bottom and then also bows on the sleeve and I picked this colorway because my sister likes white, um, black and red but um, I ship him with Fulger and Fulger's colors are like this black, gray, and red so that's why <laughs> that's why <laughs> but it's just so cute i just really i really really like this one a lot i made this one for my sister but i super want to make one for myself i don't actually know what colorway i'm thinking probably purple yeah probably a purple one because i but one of my favorite colors is purple and then i'll just like make it like oogie purple or something like that because that purple is super pretty but yeah and then my other cardigan slash sweater depending on how you want to wear it, is this one. This one's actually the most recent one that I've made and it features this lace-up front right here. And then the square neck with like the contrast piping and black all around the, um, the rim of the sweater and then these mutton sleeves. Well, and I am making one for myself. I'm making one in green. Let me actually show you my whip because the color is super pretty and I just want to show you all right now. All right, this is mine and this green color and I'm doing the piping in um, white and I accidentally made the ties too long, but you know, I'm either gonna shorten it or just leave it as is. It doesn't really bother me, but I'm for mine, I'm gonna make the sleeves not mutton. So it's just gonna be normal because I wanted to show y'all variety, but yeah, it is so cute. I am already super obsessed with it. I can see myself wearing this with so many different to different things like with a dress skirt pants probably not shorts because shorts would be too cold um i mean you can do shorts with like tights underneath and then like long socks but anyways i'm so obsessed and i'm very excited to finish this by the way i totally forgot to talk a bit more about this and the inspiration behind it so it's actually inspired by one of rosa's um outfits but she was just wearing like this super cute um lace up top with like the puff sleeves so with the piping as well so that's that's the, the where the inspiration comes from okay next up is tops and i have two of them so the first one is the narcissist top by super Bloomin'. 
and it is just this super super cute like when she post posted like whips of this like on her story i was like so obsessed with this pointed end because i don't know i just feel like it is so flattering on and so cute um with like the button front as well and the texture man kim is like a genius when it comes to texture she is so good uh, so good at like incorporating like all these like stitches in her um works usually i just like i just use like double crochet and stuff because i'm i like it and i'm comfortable with it and i just like like the look of it but like it is a good idea to like make something with texture once in a while and it's just super cute on and you can either make it like pretty cropped um so that the points end at your waist or you can make it a bit longer like me next we have this and this is the kazu vest by evie and it is literally so perfect in every aspect i love this so much i was actually planning on making this in kazuha colors but i didn't have the yarn and i kind of put myself on a yarn band because i have too much yarn but anyways so i decided to use this mint color and then this um darker green and then i don't know if you can tell really closely but there's this off-white as well as the beige that's um cutting through the the wind and it fits so well it's like a perfect crop length and i accidentally actually made it too small for myself anyway so i just put some um put some stitches on the side but you cannot tell it still looks so perfect you can wear it as like just itself as top or um like layered over like a collared shirt or something and the colors are super calm even though they're not kazuha colors i, I feel like you would still approve of these choices Okay, and then finally, I will be showing you all the dresses and the skirts that I made. There's actually only one dress and one skirt, but yeah, we're gonna group them into one category anyway. Okay, so I actually mentioned this in my last um, video, the last compilation video that I had, but I decided to remake my Watson and instead of making it like full um, plaid, I decided to make the bust part white as well as the sleeves color blocked and it just looks so cute on the back looks like this with a bow but watson is literally my like everything that i would want like in a fall style dress and i think i talked about this briefly but um watson was inspired by luke pierce from tears of venus because he always calls the MC, I call her Rosa. He always calls her Watson since he's like Sherlock because he's like a detective. Well, detective on the on the outside, but yeah. Anyways, it's just this like super simple mini um, with like a slightly flared skirt and then puff sleeves because I love puff sleeves. They're so cute. And then the milkmaid style top. And then finally, the last um, one of the last things that I've um, that I have in this rotation, I guess, is the square up skirt by Angel, and it is just this really gorgeous um, granny square skirt. But it has like this slit on the back, so you can move move um, around easier. And it's just in the these two colors that I like because I just super like brown. And let me just tell you, like literally, the best thing about this is the fact that the hips are like shaped super well so it like hugs your body and the waist isn't like way too big i love also in general i just super love checkers like i don't know some something about like checkers or like gingham prints like i just super like it always looks so good and super super cute for me that was all anyways thank you for watching bye bye